How you doing today, sir? Can you hear me? No. Okay, so he's going to be joining us, and what's going to happen, he apparently is going to share the screen. Let me make sure that he can share the screen. Let me see. Multiple participants can share simultaneously. Okay, so I set that up. And I've seen his video conferencing system. I actually turned it on, but I didn't have anybody that I had subscribed or linked to to be able to use it. And they wouldn't have known anyway. So his video conferencing system is very similar to um, Zoom. Um, there's some other buttons and features on it. So that's what he's going to do. And let me call him to make sure that he's got this. How much time do you have left, man? Because I know I know meeting up your, your evening. Um, I'll go to a broad gang suite. Just change me. Hey, Lyle. Okay, uh, did you get the email link? General Bray and I are on. Okay, all right, thank you. When I go to uh, Persona OS and stories, I have successfully changed who I am, but everything else, but only in Persona OS, am I a different person. When I go outside or go back to the community, I'm a, I go back to being this white guy. I know. We got it. Here he comes. Good afternoon. Wow. Okay. That's, we're all on. Perfect. Okay. You've got sharing screen capabilities. Perfect. Thank you. And uh, for Mr. Clark, uh, General, General G, and um, the guys are in theater with us uh, here at our office. I'm sorry, guys. They're, they're not on video call. They're in front of their monitors. We had this... Um, all pretty much scheduled for um, for two different groups. Uh, one, my new staff that was being uh, uh, oriented to our silo cloud, and um, I think uh, Kevin and I were supposed to get this done this morning. But thank you for uh, recognizing that I was um, I was too beat, straight twenty seven hours, no sleep, and I'm still a little groggy. So. Uh, you guys know my normal energy. Bear with me on this one, uh, General G. <laughs> okay, bl you bloody but and bowed. <laughs> okay, we got you. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, so allow me to go ahead and screen share. I'm going to take you guys off of the main screen. Put you over there. And. Uh, all right, so everyone will see the same thing. Share the screen. Screen one. All right. So we all should be in the in the same share screen environment, right? Right. I'm gonna sign out. Uh, we're gonna sign out. Wait up, Bob, would you like to see it here too? Uh, mm. 
Yeah, I think I, I think I better get you closer over there. Is that okay? Or you come over my shoulder. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. For starters, everyone, uh, Silo Cloud was built to literally make your internet searching and everything that you do on the internet. A lot more secure. Uh, we thought we thought first about bringing ease of use and uh, convergence to the table. Uh, the term silo itself refers to its own sense of security. When you think of the term silo, you would either think of a silo that uh, we use to store missiles or a silo that we use to store food grain, right? Uh, in in both of those applications, uh, it was mission critical items that were being stored in those silo. One was being stored underground, one was being stored above ground. And we feel that your personal uh, information is also something of mission critical and uh, something of a secure nature. So we decided to secure the cloud. Uh, uh that's enough silo thank you so much i'm sorry <laughs> uh, so I'm going to sign in right now. <laughs> there's a uh, there's there's some features that um, general. Did you did you um, happen to uh, create your own user password and log in already? Uh, I did, but but there's two things screwy. There's this there's two images that show up. Uh, one is in persona. There's one image that, that has my face for real in a gold jacket, and then there's another one that does not look like me. And exactly. I think yeah. it's your I think it's your fault picture. So, depend upon which page you're in inside of Silo Cloud or in persona, it's not synced. Like for right now, I'm that guy E. L. Barber. He, me and him have the same face. Uh, no, no, no. So, see, yeah, see, see. That's your default. I got it. I got it. That's, that's the default. Yeah, picture, see. But, but, I, but I'm not there. Okay. So, I'm, I'm so in the see. You're in the system. All right. Yeah. So, right now, during right now during beta, uh, every member that typically signs on is going to get that Barker face, right? Yeah, I got you. I'm checking. Okay. Uh, so when we when we when we literally have um, the the page version and and we leave out of beta, beta a, per, a member won't be able to move forward until they actually fulfill all of their personal profile criteria, right? So in in default, we we just put a face in there because we just needed a number of users, and um, I had a lot of my my testing, uh, what we call them scrum. <laughs> Um, fulfill the obligations of just running uh, running tests at user profile setups and things of that nature. Now, if you're setting up on a phone or on a PC or on a or on a Macintosh, uh, the setup is quite different from for either one. So, the moment a, a user first comes into the silo world, uh, their landing page will look similar to this. <clears throat> yep, got that one. That's, that's where I was. That's that's on persona. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, and so persona, persona, so that you, so that everyone in the room understands uh, the, the differences, uh, persona is actually your, your operating system as a user. Yeah. And I, guys, I, we, I had to I had to work to find this page. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't have you you wouldn't have had to work to find the page if I was giving you the tutorial from the start. <laughs> you understand? Sure. sure. <laughs> I, I mean, in fact, uh, it is obviously, obviously, if people if people go out ahead of me, they gotta be <laughs> they gotta be in the wilderness for a little while. <laughs> but uh. Uh, allow me, allow me to kind of show you guys um, how this works. All right. So normally, when uh, when a user first logs in, uh, they'll they'll end up here because they would land here from silocloud.com uh, if they're logging in from their computer, and then silocloud.com will force them into building their profile tab. So from this top right hand and that would have had a Barker picture, uh, but now it would, it would have your your photo on it. This is where we would change all of their user criteria, right? So from the first time that you log in, um, we're gonna be taking uh, a lot more more gamified so that you can click through those steps quickly. Um, a lot of new users, uh oh, and the connection unstable. Are we good? Kevin, you guys. Hello. Yeah, we're here. Okay. Here. So we'll get, we'll, a lot of users don't realize when they click on the icon, that's when, uh, that's when the application uh, comes up for you to be able to change that photo, right? Um, and when you change that photo, then it'll, it'll sync across the entire, um, And you you reach that page through manage profile. Click on uh, the at, favicon or the avatar, whatever we want to call it, and then change. And beyond that, if a user wants to uh, change. their Facebook or, or their LinkedIn or any of their own social functions. Just click on this and a prompt will come up for you to actually input your social media um, user. Now the, fi the, the final tab under, uh, right beside Pinterest, allows that user to add a web reference. And this web reference is added to your user profile um, at the time uh, that someone searches for your name as a as a, a username that they want to either subscribe or follow to um, that web reference link will allow them to be um, the, directed to whatever uh, link you subscribe to on uh, on that feature all of all of this other criteria uh, is your static data that you will you will um, create. Uh, we left this path kind of open for um, the guys that were working on our open source um, platform for the past year and a half so that we can go ahead and key in uh, financial data correctly. But the beta release won't have this, this section available to open users. Uh, right now, you guys are of the, the beta test group. Below the profile tab, a user gets to uh, add their images, 
the audio and the video. And you simply do that by dragging and dropping or selecting uh, which one of these items you would want to have stored into your, into your public profile. And it's, this is, this is kind of important because the things that you put in your public profile is what Silo does the magic behind the scenes to go ahead and uh, promote on search engines uh, on your behalf. Uh, if you don't want a photo to be seen all over the web, you might not want it here. You might want it in your actual cloud. Because every profile that's been uh, created in Silo has been on the first page of Google. Uh, so that search engine optimizer that we we built is really doing the trick. Uh, another another component of your managed profile module is the ability to build your first store. So a lot of members don't have stores yet. Um, uh, creating a store is as simple as filling out this simple form. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put a test store here. Let's call it Alexander. And uh, this is going to be design services. And I'm going to do both phys physical and digital. And I'm going to select the store theme one. And for the store image, I just simply click on that box. And uh, see if I can get a. Just a sample image. And I'll do the same thing for a thumbnail. And if I wanted to upload videos to go with this store, I could do that. But uh, what happens here is it automatically creates this uh, QR code for the store, uh, and this is just setting up your store. Now you can go to that list again, and my store will be built. However, I have no products yet. As a new member, you wouldn't have any new products. So we, we would create your new products by simply going through the selection of products that you would be approved to sell, uh, or if you had your own products that you wanted to go ahead and cast on your store, you can actually create your own unique products. The, the beauty of Silo is, um, the beauty behind the Silo engine is the ability to be able to tap it into a number of other marketplaces. So right now, uh, a member that just wants to sell things online but doesn't have the ability to create product and sell that product online and actually log into silo uh, become a brand ambassador for another company and then have that company's items listed as default inside of inside of their profile so that they themselves could be a commissioned salesperson of of that product or create your own so without saving that, I, I have some stores developed here already. I think I'm going to use um, RP Digital as um, as a store of, of choice. So my product and my store they they work together. Uh, Kevin, have you have you even uh, del delved into that section of the cloud? No, not yet. I haven't created, yeah. Okay. And I, I had a question. How much storage space initially would you get during the beta testing um, phase? The storage size, because I've I've got quite a few video files um, or movies that I own the rights to that I like to store. So you you would uh, you would actually have uh, when I get to the silo cloud portion, I'll, I'll I'll cover that with you real quick. Right here, this is just your profile. Uh, and I'll quickly get away from the profile so I can get to the components that you guys are more excited about. Um, so 
in this section of the profile is also uh, the my websites. Uh, typically, um, a person that does anything on social media uh, may have a Facebook page, but they might not have their own personal website. Silo Cloud um, applies this function to assist uh, that user in creating their own individual website with our site building tools. And then once a user um, uh, their first site, they can actually manage that site from their uh, managed profile and then publish that site across the entire web on, on the hosting tools. Trying to make sure that that screen share is picking this up. Is it? Uh, Kevin, is the screen share still picking up this tool? Yeah. Okay, very now. good. Okay, yeah. You know where you right. right? Right. The um, the page for setting up your website. Uh, I sh I saw that. I saw the page for the website. I saw the tracking of the different businesses and and also the links to all of the other websites that you are either part of or manage. Um, this this has uh, uh, a feel of. Facebook link in web builder uh, stuff on steroids. So, interesting. yeah, yeah, it, it it really is. So in these in these in this drop down menu right here, we actually ha have the uh, table of contents that allows a user to follow along seamlessly to build their site. Every site needs a header, an intro, a feature. Uh, content, the templates pull off to the side, a user just simply drags it over and manages uh, building their own uh, website. Uh, for many folks, uh, especially my older uh, users, uh, people in uh, ages 60 plus, they absolutely adore this because um, at one point in time, uh, they would manage everything on the web on their own and then uh, the web got complicated to where they couldn't uh, communicate the things that they wanted on the website. And uh, they felt that Silo answered that without them having to deal with a lot of young folks that that could maneuver, but have the patience with them. Huh? So uh, changing uh, functions and, uh, and details on the website, pretty simple. If you wanted to change the content, simply click on content and change the content that easy. Um, same thing is true for an icon. If you want to change a detail, just click on the, the detail and then we have images uh, that could be stored or uploaded from your own personal computer to add to change details, pictures, backgrounds, and what have you. Uh, in this case, we were building a, a, simp a simple website. Uh, it has two team members. If we needed to add a couple more team members, just simply add a couple more team members. Uh, if, if you um, get into building the site and then you realize, hey, this doesn't work for me, that's when you actually go into the elements tab. You can actually remove certain elements as well. So you you don't have to be stuck with what you've just created. We can just kind of change that intro so that we can have a different feature set. Does it also give you the, does it also give you the ability to create search uh, an acceptable, not used name? Absolutely, absolutely. So that's our domain hosting. Um, I mean, our website builder is probably the most uh, open source application because we actually give you the, the source code and the script uh, while, you're, while you're developing your entire site. So when you go into the detail elements, uh, if you wanted to go into the script builder uh, or, or hosting your CSS or managing your SEO so that uh, Google can track the analytics of your website that you just built uh, or, 
or take this out of our site builder template and bring it into a more robust web builder, we give you the ability to do that. And companies like Wix, they, they typically just don't do that. Um, we've, uh, we're feature rich in that most of the things that we that you do on Silo Cloud, you don't require other functions to actually come into the equation to help you out with. Uh, so everything that's built here can actually be hosted. I don't have to re-log in. I simply have to name the site. Uh, in this case, I'll name it Gen Test and uh, put a number 12 on it. And I can export it to a zip file. Or I can host it on my Silo Cloud. So I'm just going to host it on my Silo Cloud. <clears throat> and now it's hosted. The site is hosted. Now it's hosted as a silo cloud uh, backslash gen test. Now I can redirect that domain uh, uh, by simply purchasing uh, an account with silo domains. And that's what you were just asking, um, Jen. Uh, so, oh. <clears throat> I can search for unique domains right here. If the domain is available, I can just search for it. I can purchase it right here and it'll be applied to um, Silo host account. <clears throat> so with that, um, allow me to, allow me to, exit the um, silo site builder and get into persona because um, again all of this is just your per personal profile this is the way you manage it um, what the public sees when you've already managed your profile is this version um, so uh, they can click and link directly to all of your social media uh, they can see all of the photos that you have posted or play the music that you have listed or your videos or in my store. They can, or they visit can come in and, and what have you. They can come in and see uh, your and see your dashboard. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Loud. Say again? They can see your dashboard, what they see. Not, not, not the yeah, second. Yeah, they tier. can see the. Okay. You have manage profile and profile. They can only see your profile. So this is this would be public if to you. I'm not going to go to the dashboard. So so this isn't the dashboard. Bill for. Uh, I'm about to show you. Okay. I know there's a, a one later on inside of it called dashboard, but what's going on with the internet? All right, I had a lot of a lot of interference. So, is everyone back? Yep. Everyone back? Okay, all right. So, your dashboard is right here. This is actually your dashboard. So, if you wanted to search for a member, um, let's say you wanted to call Kevin, right? Or, or in my case, I want to call Brandon. So, I can search for Brandon right here. And now, if I'll, sorry. I wasn't moving fast enough. If I wanted to actually have a video call with Brandon, I could simply click this button right here, and this entire dashboard would turn into a video 
template, a video applet, right? Um, I'm right now subscribed Kevin. I wanted to search for Kevin. You know, my username is Kevy Kev, K E V V Y, K E V V. K E V V Y, K E V V. K E V V Y, K E V V. And then K E V V. Have you? Okay, there we go. Kevin Clark. So now I'm subscribed and I'm following Kevin Clark. So now at this point, I can actually have a video call with Kevin Clark. As simple as this. Hey guys, because we're all on the, the same line, this demo is gonna be a little bit slow. I would ask that you don't hound. Um, I'm on the, uh, I'm on Nardivani 2.4. If you guys get on either the Cox or the, the five gig, uh, this will continue to be smooth. And I can give you guys passwords, all right? Because this is where it gets really, really cool. I'm about to get into the real parts of the demo. So Kevin, uh, I'm subscribed to you and I'm following you right now. And this please wait is signifying that I'm now trying to call you. Should I be picking up my cell phone or just through the uh, the, the, the the silo cloud? So if you, so if you have two screens on your on your computer right now, you can literally open up silocloud.com, log into it, and it's probably going to start ringing. The thing about silo is if you don't have it, if you're not logged into it either on your phone, your mobile app, or has have it up on your computer, uh, it's not going to disturb you. And I did that purposely because I wanted to create silo in a way that we grew uh, the communications pros uh, were in the, in the past when we were growing up. If you don't want to be disturbed by phones ringing, you probably wouldn't be around your home phone uh, 20 years ago. You would probably be outside because there was no outside phone for you. Right? <laughs> so silo allows you uh, the ability to be able to step away from, the world uh, or open up to the entire world while you're doing so, right? Uh, so I've opened up the persona screen. Where would I go to receive the, um, the call? So at this point, because I'm still waiting for you, uh, you can go to your notification bit to the very top hand corner, I'm pointing to it right now. And it would probably say uh, something like, uh, Leo is trying to call you. Okay, notifications are where my profile face would be. If they, if you guys shut down, hang on. I'm gonna let me close this call real quick. I'll call someone that. Can you stay on? All right. Oh, good. So whoever's on Cox is fine. All right, um, Allison. Let let me uh, let me do this with someone that already has a profile established. So, so so that you understand, this entire area works like a phone book. So anyone that's in your in your contacts that are following you, you simply just uh, push in their names. Anything that they're doing on on uh, the social media sphere. Also, uh, when you look down here, notice uh, I have Josh Lang, Seacom Victoria, Lavelle, Granjit, and beside their names are channels that they were watching. That's because the friends, and if I want to watch the channels that they're watching right now, I can just click on that and and now we can start watching TV together.
can't believe I'm in another moment like this right now. I'm not used to that. Let me shut the. Let me shut some things down, guys. One second, because uh, this is something that I'm I'm familiar. I'm I'm used to. Uh, I just go back to that board and shut some other things down. I was doing pretty. Yeah. We were loading it up. <laughs> that fast research. Sorry for that. Okay, so understanding this section of the of the dashboard, ah, connection is unstable. Hmm. Hey, Kevin, can you still hear me clearly? Yeah. All right. So this section of the this section of the dashboard actually gives you. Um, a lot of information about the people that you care about in the web. Even this uh, this web reference tool that I was telling you about earlier, uh, this web reference tool, if that person had filled it out, would look something like Brandon's web reference tool. So now I can I click on anything that Brandon would like uh, me to be exposed to right here. Uh, if I went to his Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest, it'll go directly to Brandon's Twitter, Facebook, and, and Pinterest, where all of these channels are active channels uh, that other people are viewing, and I'm able to share uh, that viewership right here. Now, your first uh, your first persona background image is, is pretty dormant, uh, but you can actually make an active uh, image by simply um, clicking on the news feature, and then now your persona dashboard looks like this and that's why it's called dashboard it's gonna it's gonna change the way you want it to be changed so if you want the the news that's being fed through the ap uh or if you wanted to have um uh your favorite video videos show up um those functions will be set to the user sometimes i like to put the featured users out 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 here and um the feature users, this kind of lets us know who's got more hits on um, on our platform. And um, typically when you click on any one of these featured users, you go directly to their profiles and they're doing. So TK Carter, uh, TK Carter's part of the, uh, the team? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, TK, I know, TK. Yeah, TK has been on, uh, on the beta, Beta test group for a very long time, for the wow, since the I'm beginning. Wow, about ten years. One of my best friends. <laughs> That's one of my best friends. Man, he's kind of crazy. We got some stories. But we all are. <laughs> he's got some stories. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now that we can uh, now that we can understand the the rest of the the functions of the menus are as follow. Uh, under your icon is your profile, your managed profile, a go live button that takes you to a go live section of Persona. The go to Silo 360 takes you out of Persona and into Silo 360. I don't, rec I don't recommend new users going to Silo 360 until they master the Persona. And then I have Persona Admin because I have credentials. Uh, you will have Persona Admin if you are an owner of a retail store or an e-commerce store, and this is the way you manage your business through your persona ad. This, this cloud uh, drop-down menu gives you access to your private cloud, your shared cloud, or your silo TV, but it also, while you're an, on an Android device, you can actually download the TV app, the silo cloud app, or the QR code scanner directly to your phone. If you download this to your computer, it's not gonna do much good. This is only for the mobile app usage. Are those apps free? Yes, absolutely. 
So right now I have uh, a couple of guys that was calling me on video call while I was calling you, and that's what the hangup was. Uh, <laughs> um, so that's your notifications. It'll tell you who's following you, who's subscribed to you, who's calling you. Uh, um, stories is, um, is a pretty unique feature. Uh, it allows members to go ahead and create video and audio stories and then post it in a timeline fashion uh, like that of uh, Instagram. Applications is uh, another component. You'll see all three of these tabs uh, on this drop down as well. So you have your applications tab, your community tab, and your stories tab on this side. This is the the drop down uh, menu that most people will use. This is uh, the drop down menu that uh, new beginners typically use because they, they're unfamiliar with this drop down. This menu, starting from the top to bottom, uh, exposes your My Cloud. I would say don't click on that yet. Uh, I want to show you that. Uh, your chat, uh, your community, your applications, your entertainment. Your settings menu, I'll show you some cool things about your settings. Your story record button, your go live button. When you click on this button, your entire platform is automatically live. And you can now share uh, your, your live video streaming uh, with the world. Uh, we are border free. Um, everyone in China, India, Africa, and Germany could, could uh, witness you on silo simultaneously. And um, I haven't even set a member viewership yet on that. And then this is just the all user profiles tab. Before I go uh, to the My Cloud tab, I want to just share that um, Silo is in 144 languages. During this beta, I only put it in um, 14 languages. It instantly uh, translates everything that's going on. and. Um, I'm gonna just put this back in English right now for the rest of the demo. This little button microphone right here is pretty unique because this is our silo AI. Um, you can actually um, disable it by simply not touching it. The minute you touch it, you're asking it to go ahead and do things for you. Like um, uh, if you want it to open um, the cloud feature, you would say things like, open cloud after touching this button or open chat or open whatever right but so if you say, it, it's a loud question if you engage it to disengage it, you just have to touch the <laughs> microphone huh huh i said oh You said, what'd you say, uh, Kevin? He said, to, he said to gauge to disengage. Right, so if you engage it by pressing the mic, and if you want to disengage, you just press the mic again, right? Yes. Okay. Please see if I call him back. Uh, okay. So uh, let's go in the uh, my cloud. Silo cloud, uh, as you can see, I use my entire cloud. Um, so I, all right. Uh, I use every portion of this cloud. It literally has uh, about eight of my computers stored into it. Uh, you can store just about every type of file type, from exe files to application files, MP4s, PDFs, um, executable file types, you name it. And um, we literally give everyone a free uh, cloud. So if you actually have, um, if, you, if you're already logged in, if you just click on the Try Now button, Try Now is going to give you about 50 uh, 
MB or what, what 50 MB would translate to in the way Silo Cloud interprets data is a lot of gigs of storage over the internet. Why, why this part is important is uh, no matter where I am in the world, I don't have to uh, chug around laptops and what have you because all of my information is in Silo Cloud. So I, when, I, when I go to this computer and later, like yesterday, it was about to crash. Um, uh, my team can be a witness to that. I literally just took 28 gigs off of this computer and just down, downloaded it into my Silo Cloud so that the computer could still be healthy. Vulnerability. Um, we have uh, we have total redundancy. Um, uh, Silo Cloud is probably the number four widest expanding cloud in in our country. Uh, it's it's as vulnerable as Switch is, and as you know, General, if Switch goes offline, um, the entire nation's internet and communications will be offline uh, because it is fiber ring. Um, our servers are co-located across the planet though. Um, so where Switch may have interrelationships, Silo has already been nestled um, throughout the world. So my redundancy uh, pales in comparison to anybody else uh, that, that opened up, um, let's say their version of a cloud on Amazon. That's Amazon. only in America. There's, so a storage, there's a storage capability in Las Vegas. You've seen that, right? That, that is switched, General. Okay. That is, that's, so, so that's what you're saying. My people. Okay, those are, those are your people. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Switch and I um, interface about six years ago, uh, and we've we built a very strong uh, relationship. Uh, it's like its own government. But, you know, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not really relying on them either, because once we, once we built our our fiber rails um, architecture inside the cloud structure. We basically um, device um, independent, and that's where I was growing towards. Um, well, so we have a no, please, please. we have redundancy in, in Hong Kong and uh, small islands. We have a hub in Trinidad. We're we're in the Netherlands. So I mean, I can jump, I can jump from country to country, um, snap of a finger. So, so I guess the, the question of, I guess there's two there's two vulnerabilities I'm, I'm asking about. The first is the vulnerability of having stuff in the cloud. Period. Then there's the vulnerabilities of those sites that are carrying information for you. And it, it, do you have series of firewalls. Uh, General, um, so those sites aren't, those sites don't typically uh, carry anything. Um, um, I'll, I'll go into, um, I'll go into the architecture of uh, how silo clusters data and operate through uh, the fiber ring. Um, away from this particular call because um all right i got the, you the, the, i'm sidetracking you so good and we, you said 30 minutes and i've already bust both of our clocks so <laughs> nah, that's a that, that's okay so yeah uh, security wise every other every other cloud framework that you know of today is uh based on a public framework right now i'm the administrator and the and key developer of silo Did you talk and you did you, and Charles, huh? did you and Charles ever get that conversation going? No, I, I haven't spoken back to Charles. I haven't. Yeah. But, but uh, I will. I will. Okay. Um, in, in any case, the, the public clouds are 
are the ones that users have to actually worry about their data in. Again, the manager and the developer silo, and the only thing that I have access to is assisting you changing your password. The encryption level is, is, is such a thick uh, parameter, uh, so many variables, um, mul multiple built like a banking system. So it's private secured access module technology interface into everyone's unique dedicated server. So we're not sharing one public space in the cloud. Every person that's a part of the silo actually has their own unique uh, space in the cloud. So uh, it's a little different. Uh, current this level of service to, to end, and that's why they hedge their bets and uh, give you limitations on what type of files can actually be there. I don't care if you put any type of file there because it's not gonna uh, affect my cloud. You know what I mean? Kevin, you, you, I know you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, uh, right next to the upgrade storage button, the record button, guys, if you can see that. Uh, so, you know how sometimes you're in the middle of something and you're like, I'm going to record this and you're not actually recording because you're, all, you're always recording it on something else, right? Uh, well, Silo allows us to go ahead and record directly uh, or video and then I can send it to my timeline stories or download it to this PC, but I know that once I do So you can do that right in the middle of your meetings. How about that? Right. So Lyle, can you repeat that? Because you froze for a few minutes for me. Could you repeat that with the record recording of uh, the information in the cloud? OK, all right. General Bray, did you hear him? My video right here, and then I'll try to do it for you. No, he, he, he was freezing this end, too. So, I, but, but I said at the front end, he, he knows you know what he's talking about. I, I left it there and let that keep going. Okay. You guys back? We're here. Yeah. All right, let's try to do that again. General Bray, do you have any questions that you want to ask before you break contact for a few minutes? Uh, at this point, at, no, at this point in time, no, because this is one of those things where you're going to have, for me, I'm going to have to go inside and, and meander around. I've already been inside to where it says conference one to many, many to many. And I was hoping we would actually transition to that and get off Facebook and 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 play inside and talk inside, but I, but I understand why he's doing it because, and from this this way he has to, he can show it while he talks to us and I, and I got it I'm, I'm I'm with that but I got a, I've got a, I am truly a hands on learner so right. I, I got you <laughs> same here yeah I mean eventually what we want to do is be able to find each other General Bray and I and be able to have a a one to one conversation or no one -to -one there's two there's two parts because remember this, what what was the thing that you told Lau you wanted him to be able to do tonight? Right. What I was looking for was a communication system, one to many uh, institutions to try no, and basically. No, many, but many, many to many. It's really many to many, so they can all talk to each other. Oh, yeah, one to multiple. Yeah, what? Yeah. yeah, so I want to connect. You want a network. You want yeah, a wanna, network that ties. Right. right. So that. And, that and, he's, and he's showing that part pretty clearly. Uh, so you have the ability. And what is the, I do, I do have one question. What is the, what is the throughput or the pipe that this thing operates under? Good question. Cause I was going to ask for latency also. Yeah, because I'm, you know, right now we're on a zoom call and I'm, I'm I can't wait to see what it's going to be like on a, on a silo call. So yeah. let me, let me go ahead and <laughs> let me go ahead and open up this real quick. So I am yeah. now live. You guys see me? I'm in my live stream. Yep. Yep. 
So I'm going to invite you to this live stream right now. I need you to grab your phones. I'm grab on my laptop. Yeah, but I know you're on your laptop, but grab your your mobile phone. I've already I've downloaded on mobile phone too, so I can go both of them. <laughs> no, I need you to be on both of them. Here you go. This is why I'm doing it this way. All right. So, you see that QR code that's right there on, on your screen? Yes. Scan it. OK, gotcha. I'm already here, though, see, so it's, it's not fair. I'm not sure if I, I, will I get two screens? Let's see here. That's DoorDash. <laughs> what I'm gonna see. I'm gonna use this other phone. It's not gonna scan it here. Hey, you know what, Kevin? You're, uh -huh. you're, following, you're following me right now. So you see this little button right now? Uh, General, why don't you, you pay attention to the screen? I'm going to just show you something real quick. I'm this following you too. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, you are? Yeah, oh, yes. great. Right above me. <laughs> I got you. Good. So listen, don't, don't even worry about the QR code. Watch this. I'm going to just send you guys a quick text message. Join live. Gotcha. Click on that. I did. I'm here. And now you're here. Yeah, I'm here. I've been I've been playing I've been playing around with you all day for just waiting for it to happen. <laughs> and I'm clearer than Zoom. This is yeah. much clearer than Zoom. Well, I'm gonna take it off Zoom. I'm, I'm gonna kill Zoom. We don't we don't need to Zoom anymore. No, no. Okay, let's no. take the full screen. Zoom, Zoom is leave Zoom gone. I've left Zoom. Leave the meeting. Look how much clearer they are on the silo than the Zoom crap that we've been on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> wow. Okay. Look at that smile of General Bray. <laughs> oh, this is great. General Bray, you still with us, or did you leave? Okay, I think General Bray had to leave for a few minutes. Hey, Lyle, well, I've, got, I've got some bandwidth constraints with my phone inside of my house. Um, so that's where it may be some latency. I'm on a four, on a, a old LG T E 4E for um, 4G phone. So I don't know if you guys can hear and see me. Yeah, you should have me down with a two pipe. 
you got me on a computer and on my handheld. All right. So now the question is, is it is it piping into either one or both of them? Let's see what I've got here. Me, that's me on that one. Okay, all right. I'm gonna step with you and I'll be back. Uh, Okay. All right, General. We'll see you back in a few minutes. Hey, Lyle, can you hear me? Lau, can you hear me? Yeah, I've got I've got only two bars on this phone, so that may be an issue for me. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I've got I've got no I've got no bars here. I've got about two bars on my house, on my inside of my house. So that's probably why I have nothing coming through. Kevin, can you see this? Yes. Okay. All right. So, let hey, let's not do group participation anymore. I just want to I just want to kind of get through this because uh, I'm still uh, I'm still a little groggy. Um, so, if I wanted to create a group between me, you, and the general, I would simply do this. I would name the group LA Dream, right? And then I select you two. And perhaps one of my guys. Okay. And then that group is now saved. So now I can go down to LA Dreams. Got to be somewhere here. I did save it, LA Dreams. Huh? I thought I said the LA Dreams.
No, I probably didn't hit the submit. Okay, that's what it was. So in, in any case, I can actually create that. And then once you create that group, you can simply go down to your group list. And it's always to the bottom. And there it is, LA Dream. Okay. <coughs> so and now that if the group is online, I, I didn't put a, an icon there. I can simply call both of them right now. One button to get, okay, all both, both people, okay. Right. And now you have the same video uh, calling feature as, as you did go live application. Thing is, you're, you're managing and you're driving your, your own destiny uh, in Silo Cloud. So it's, it's going to take uh, a true course to be able to understand each module because even inside of this module, I'm going to get out of this group message. Uh, let's just go to uh, an active uh, one of them guys that we see we're talking every day on this right if I wanted to see um, anything that we shared between each other every day it's right here if I wanted to sort that by media only it's right here if I wanted to sort that by calls only it's right here If I, if I wanted to see any files that we shared, it's here. Right here, okay. If I wanted to drop files in here, this is what this is what's actually pretty cool too. So everything um, is drag and drop, there's no import, huh? Yeah, everything is drag and drop or import, or import. So you can actually, you can actually, um, you can actually, Bring it in from a, a Google browser or or your Chrome extension. Uh, right now, Google's not liking me so much because when I'm in silo, I don't really need any of that. <clears throat> so Google's not really responding to me. Uh, but I don't really need them. I can just do this. Actually, uh, your screen share technology won't let me um, just bring my, yeah, I should it. There we go. So if I want to just drag this to rent it, I just drag it like this. Okay. <laughs> That's easier for me. All the other buttons and everything else. This is kind of Apple-like. You know, it's like open architecture. Pictures go here. That's where it's to go, and then it automatically fixes it all. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh. uh, you can also do a pretty unique find feature. So if we were talking subject matter, and I was like, uh, I'm looking for the, I'm looking for that thing that had checking in it. And, oh, yeah, it's already finding it. It's going next checking, or I'll do something simpler like high. Uh, it's going to go to the next high, right? So, I mean, <clears throat> we put all these little quirks in it uh, to make it easy for the users. And then uh, managing your calls uh, is a lot better too, because as you can see, I'm, I'm timestamped. 720 is when, I, when we started that experiment with you guys. Tried to get 714. I can still join that call. Uh, and that's what's crazy. I can still right. join that call right now. Until, uh, so all of these features that, that so all of these features that you are showing me right now, if I was trying to use the AI, it would be able to do all this stuff without me having to push any buttons. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to do this for for the um, for the elderly or for the paraplegic that want to be able to socialize on uh, on on the internet as well. Right now, if uh, if you go to any Google browser, you tell it to go and do certain things, right? You can do it from your mobile phone faster than you can your computer, right? Right. Well, inside inside of a website, that, I mean, that's an operations protocol. That's operations language. Inside of an application, though, 
if you're inside of one of these things, like say Facebook, you're not going to tell Facebook, hey, search for Allison's profile. Hey, give Allison a like. You know what I mean? Well, I have no hands. Right. So, Free. 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 things Free. that yeah. Uh, Silo, yeah, this, this is what Silo looking towards uh, being that, that one for all. Right. Uh, one, one, one key thing um, on, on our chat uh, that I've, I've grown pretty proud of is, um, is this feature. Hang on. <clears throat> I want to go into here. Probably going to have to reduce my screen. One second. There we go. One of the, one of the features that I'm, I'm mostly proud of is uh, the ability to translate directly into my chat. So let's say that person is in Chinese, right? Uh -huh. Let's go simplify Chinese. Now everything in my in my chat applet is Chinese. So certain messages, um, certain mess messages, messengers won't be able to interpret these things. Ranjit is China. He speaks Chinese. I'm American. I speak English. Here we go. Hey, Ranjit, I'm, uh, I'm just going over some small things with the guys during this test phase. Uh, give me a call later. So I I just do that, and it's going to interpret everything to Ranjit in Chinese. Chinese, okay. Wow, nice. You don't have to, I don't have to worry about what it because I need to know what it's saying to me. <laughs> he know he needs to know what it's saying to him. See. Got when it. I go to Chinese, this is what Ranjit is seeing. So a lot of, a lot of interpreters, they're only going to show you um, the language that you can speak into it, like if that actually makes sense to you. I want to know it, the entire language in English. And I want to be able to speak in English and let the computer do, do the interpretation to the other end of that. Right, so, what you said. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. That is cool. That is super cool. Yeah, one one of the features that I like to be able to showcase is uh, there's a lot of Engl English as second language um, going on here in LA County. And wow, for doing video conferencing, this could really allow a lot more connectivity to people who are trying to learn English but be able to, to really understand how to use this kind of uh, technology so they're not just doing it you well, know, in classrooms. You know, the, the, un, the other thing that we're doing, um, Mark, I, how did you know I was looking, to, I was looking for you right now? <laughs> okay, good, good. One of the things that we're going to be putting on our closed, our closed caption so that even if you're doing your one to many, they can select to hear everything that you're saying uh, through writing, right? And then select that, that language because we can actually do real time interpretation of what you're speaking in translation. So now your closed caption becomes you speaking to the world. It's like Babylon, right? Wow. So I was actually that, helping. Yeah. That is super cool. Yeah, so the end user can actually be able to hear the English posting of what you got in their language. And it would, yes. yeah, so simultaneously you could have the ability to get people from Mexico and China and Germany to be able to, to, to hear the message in their language. Hey, not only that, Silo will read it back to you. <laughs> so uh, you've been Silo talk through, throughout the presentation. Uh, I've just tried to. Calm, calm him down. Wow. You but, had a question? Wow, this, this is, yeah, I've got, I've got multiple questions, wait, but what, what I wanted wait to up, do. Wait up, Kev. Okay. Wait up, Kev. I have a question from the, from the audience, What's the, from the room.
Perfect. Absolutely. We can absolutely do that. I put Grammarly, Grammarly in there as a, a code strand. So Grammarly will actually break up their broken English uh, slash Spanglish into a context that we can understand. So Grammarly is in there right now. Notice I will, I will, I will attempt to speak broken language sentence. Grammarly will fix that before it goes out to the window. So all of my texts come across perfectly as well. So uh, I would like to start by trying to yesterday my So I'm trying to really mess up Grammarly. Right? And Grammarly doesn't want to mess right this minute. It actually put put periods. So let's go ahead and give me a give me a bad sentence. Give me a bad sentence. Give me a broken sentence. Just any broken sentence. He he will he would be ten tomorrow. All right. He he would be. It's hard to do it. I can't. I, I, it's hard. I don't. I can't even think of one. But you get it. <laughs> Take a ride. You're shooting the rabbits. You're shooting the rabbits. Shooting the rabbits. So in any case, you know, it's uh it's it's pretty it's pretty neat. It's uh I like I like the Grammarly the, the Grammarly uh string text uh Interpretation manager. Uh, that was something new that we put into our our text editor, and um, I think it's going to help people communicate a lot better. Hey, actually, anything that you're writing, if you put it inside of here, like texting it to each other, is going to fix it. So uh, a lot of my ideas, I literally just throw my ideas out, and I was. And Grammarly fixes it, wow. and then I copy it into what I'm Man, what I'm doing as work. I mean, <laughs> I'm just giving you all my cheat codes. This is a life hack. You know what I mean? It's a cheat code. So uh, it's a. Uh, I absolutely love it. This is actually one of my favorite programs inside the system, and I'm I'm literally trying to figure out how I can turn that into a solution by itself. Just I want to speak to it, let it go ahead and coordinate the entire um, context of my le of what I'm speaking to it. Sir, we're still on. Of you want to rejoin? The form of a, a text string that's perfectly written. Okay. I think I can do that. Uh, might do uh, that. Um, we're still still on the same stream that we were on before. Lyle and I are still. He's doing some screen share right now. Some of the features. Um, tr try again. Is it still the same link and password and meeting ID? As soon as I see you, I'll invite you in. Hey guys, y'all got any feedback? Yeah, I mean, you guys been using it a little bit, so. All right. Hey. So you're out, so you, you, you close the browser, try to see if you can close the browser and, Come right back in immediately. I don't see <coughs> you in my invite window. Yeah. 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 
Uh, no, because I don't want to uh, break. It. He's on. Uh, um, he's on this call right here. This this comments thing. The reason why we couldn't have um, Kevin on this conference because he doesn't have good bandwidth where he is. So. <clears throat> so Mark, the so that's why that's why me and uh, me and the girls and me and all of our team everywhere else we we use it. It's it's. I mean, if I had if I had communication back and forth with you, it's as simple as going to the rent. Take a look at this real quick. I'm going to look at everything that we wanted to, everything that you and I spoke about would be right here. Hmm. You know, this is better than email, guys. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because I can go directly to it. Uh, if it was a media lake or if it was a picture of anything, you know what I mean? We can go right to it. I'm sending you the, um, the invitation or the uh, information again. And see if you can use another browser. Can you use something other than Chrome? So even if we were out there, uh, Mr. Mark, and I was, if I was uh, taking a walk on a property or something, and you're like, hey, I need a screenshot of that, and I'm, I'll, I'll do something like this. And send it to you. Yeah, see if you can close everything. And then. Is that crazy? Yeah, he's actually along with some other team members who are um, kind of so, yeah. asking you about some other features like the Grammarly. But we had that can actually. Yeah. So I got you on that. Uh, so uh, your gallery. Um, if, if it came from me, you just click on my name. And this is the way you would manage me. <laughs> how, how about that? <laughs> right? I mean, so the logic thing, the, the logic in, in me tells me that if, um, if Allison sent me something, okay, we haven't spoken a whole lot. We just talked on it. I'll try to come on through your phone. Bam. I can see the gallery. We just talked on it. I mean, our whole our whole existence has been on WhatsApp, and we got to move it, Allison. We got to move it, kid. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, uh, <laughs> no, you, you go to, uh, uh, because some, some users don't allow you to follow up or talk to them. So let, let's uh, let's go to the auto user. Yeah. So. Got to be nice. So you can't subscribe to them uh, from from this feature right here. You do that from the dashboard. So Adele. A D. A I D. A I D D. All right. Ah. <laughs> Basic spelling. Spelling first. Come 
I'm skipping over there too. A I D. Oh, there we go. All right. Now I can subscribe and follow to you too. Okay. See that? Mm. Knowing this has a battle. And I'm giving you a like, kid. <laughs> I was your second like. <laughs> Lakita Alexander, did you have a do you have a page now, Lakita? Can't find Lakita. What's your username? That's why people can't find people. That's it. You don't spell the right. I mean, why don't they put their real name? <laughs> That's the point. That's what I'm hearing. We had three incidents here in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want to be incognito. Everybody wants to be incognito. <laughs> Yeah, but they won't find you like that. No one would find you searching for some something else. Yeah, I, I'm like right here, the General Edmund, That's right. the guy right here. <laughs> he can do anything. He's got the light. No, <laughs> I can help you change your user ID. Yes. <laughs> Spell your name. Where did you get here? <laughs> They came in while you were busy. <laughs> What's up? They snuck in while you were busy. <laughs> What's up, kids? They've been listening to all this. <laughs> I like your space over there, cuz. Yeah. Working in Spanish? Cool. Cool. Everybody's stationed around. You know. I love it. I love it. So the whole group is in. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So. So, uh, Kevin, when you come back alive, because you're, you're you're muted, if you knew if you knew that. So you guys are starting to you guys are starting to get the hang of this now. So the chat function is quite amazing. I, w I would say, right? Uh, community is is equally pretty pretty. I see Kevin and already started doing things in the community. Did we unlock him to do the community stuff? Okay. Cool. Yeah, Lyle, well, I've been uh, populating and posting things that I want to see. You. Yeah. So, I love uh, it. I matter of fact, it. one of the key features, one of the key things I wanted to talk about is these net labs that the California Community College has spent six million dollars on. These virtual net labs, and this is a video recording of the. Um, the chancellor and all the digital section navigators talking about how great it is to have all these different software licenses in here to try and train people, actually train the trainers, but it's supposed to drill down to the students, which it's not doing. So if you look, yeah, so this is literally hey, a little recording. I'm gonna look at this right now. Kevin, what's cool about this? I'm glad you put this here because watch this. If I wanted to share this, everybody on my Facebook, my Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, everything. It's a one click. Boom. <laughs> now, now Kevin Silo Cloud Share will go directly to my 5,000 people. Is that crazy? Exponential. Which Michael Smith is that, by the way? So we can still do all the, the likes and, and comments just the way you would on any other social. Uh, we can. I know Stephen Wright. You know Steve Wright? He's the guy that yeah. I want to put you in front of, man. He's the uh, 
He's the head of all the California community college, 115 community colleges for bringing in solutions. He used to work with Verizon. Yeah. So picture that. You see, I just did a picture in picture. So I can keep on doing this. <laughs> Wow. Like, I mean, yeah, I had Miss Washington on. Is now back in here. Oh, our post, there's not a function inside of our, our store, our timeline posts that doesn't out out perform other things that are doing limited functions uh, with the ability to be able to post something at a single platform and then share it to all rival platforms that's that's significant you know what I mean and I think that helps any influencer get their their message out because now they can concentrate all of their messages on on one timeline. You know, uh, and then start concentrating all who's following them. Like right now, I just mouse over to Kevin and I see exactly. I'm going to actually put a thumbs up on that one. Uh, you got two followers now, one subscriber, one view. I'm going to subscribe to you as well. I'm going to follow you as well. Uh, that QR code, if someone scans it, is going gonna, is gonna to allow them to go to your profile and stay attached to you as well. And they're going to be following you in everything. Instagram, Facebook, everything. You know what I mean? So uh, this this function is, is pretty awesome. Uh, and uh, the more you, you start using this, the more adaptive it is. Uh, go to applications. Go to applications. Applications, open applications, I'm sorry. Open applications. Moving to silo applications. Open chat. Moving to silo chat. Am I am I forcing your guys' stuff to open as well? Open community. So are you seeing this, Kevin? Yeah. Uh, open applications. Moving to silo applications. So the so as you see, the, the voice commands are are, are Pretty solid. Uh, we're gonna go put a color code on there so that you know when the microphone is open. Um, the bottom, bottom here uh, tells you all of the different apps that are on Silo, and we have about 28 apps. Um, but for right now, we're just allowing uh, members to. Uh, we even put uh, Netflix and Hulu on here, so. If you actually have a Netflix account, uh, you can just get started. It's gonna, it's just gonna work. It's just, it's just gonna work. See that? <laughs> I love when I see people's reaction when they see that. It, yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> it just works. Um, Juno Bray, are you in application? Get off of those things. I am in applications. I'm watching Lyle's work. Wait, so okay. I, okay, cool. Yeah, I, Silo so, Wallet. Yeah, this is but super I, cool. But when I click on applications, uh, off to the left, Netflix comes on real quick and then disappears. No, yeah, he's, he's in control of everything right now. Uh, he's not in control of mine, I don't think. Wait, well, he's just in Silo Wallet. No, he's, he's not inside of mine. He's, exactly. what, what's on the Zoom screen is yes. But I'm actually in applications. I'm actually running it on the right-hand side 
when he says right, what yeah, he's I, doing. Okay, so I'm, I'm in it too, but it's actually, actually, it's actually auto, um, it's going, when I'm in application, so it's just moving from one page to the next. So it's just looping. Yeah, so but, I'm he's, but, yeah, but, he, but he's not doing that. So see, for instance, right, I, I, want to, I, I want to go try an application while he was doing it. But you, but you can't click on it, because I guess you don't, you don't have the administrative capacity to do it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, second. yeah. I mean, we have to turn you on, General Gray. Uh, you can get started and do a trial, um, but but then you're gonna run yourself into another, uh, a couple of other little okay, corners. I got it. I got it. I'm, I'm I'm in the walls. Okay, I got it. I'm because uh, right now it's, it, everything's on automatic. I'm right. So okay. Yeah. Okay, I thought I, I thought it. it was Lila was in control of it. Just it's an automatic. No, I, that was yeah. It was, it was, it, I, and I knew he wasn't controlling ours because the what he's controlling is on Zoom, and it wasn't keeping up with the Zoom. So I knew it wasn't doing the same so this thing. Is, the, is this a, so Lyle, how many different slides in this slideshow? Because I'm seeing like, I think I've counted about 12 different slides. Because yeah, we have about, Silo has 32 different applications. So wow. you have 32 different buttons. So look, I'm gonna click on music right now, boom. It goes to the music. Right, and then if I want to get started with the music, I just click get started with the music. And then, oh, I'm in the music. <laughs> and then I can go to the artist and, oh, look, I have the, I have the list. Yeah, so again, uh, a lot of these applications are, um, you know. Okay, so so let's, let's go quick, quickly. To, so tomorrow, we, when we bring on, when we do this again tomorrow with uh, Lou, um, we, 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 we really need to be real crisp so you can see it, and then you can start, because then he'll think, he'll think about how to connect. Um, um, but, uh, uh, but the truth of the matter is, everything I'm not doing is this really well. <laughs> uh, the, connect, the connects yeah. already here. Yeah, in in a in a number of ways, in a, in a number of ways. Sure, sure. The the entertainment piece is there. Uh, the record story, guys. I've, I've shared that with. Uh, hey, Kevin, you should love this because I thought about you every time we were doing this code. When I go to my stories. Um, every story that you created for yourself. Wait, repeat that. Every story, what? I, I didn't hear that. Repeat that, please. I'm about to show you. Every story that you create for yourself creates uh, your own individual channel. So it catalogs all of these stories for you. So I thought about you in this because you can actually have all of the people, all the personas that you interview. Populate a channel for each one of them. Nice. Okay, got it. Nice. You with me? I just thought about you as a as a, as a person to to be that. You know what to do with this. I know, hey, man. Not, yeah, I. Yeah, I, I I I literally understand how I can actually fire the first bullet now. With with yeah. some, with some of the people who really will understand that this is an end-to-end -end system and you don't need anybody else. At all, at all, at all. I and mean. That, I, and it, that's what I want Lou to understand is that this is what could become the, the gate opener because all these gatekeepers are not gonna believe it until it's demoed. Okay, and yeah, well, do, do, this, do this for Lau. Each person has a thing that they're looking for. Make sure that you can that you can capture the thing they're looking for and let, make sure that Lyle shows them their thing. Plus, but always show them their thing, the thing they, they think they're looking for. Because right. they will right. see very quickly that Lyle gives them the thing plus. Yeah. Um, because, because if you don't give them their thing, they will get lost. Well, General, General Gray, you're absolutely right. I always ask a person who's a potential client what the minimum viable product that they have to have. 
that, that they don't have right now. Just, just, they ain't got no middle one. Just say what they want. Ask what yeah. they want. Well, yeah. Well, yeah because, I, because there's so much capability in this, in this right here. Like, my, my immediate, immediate uh, response when I went inside was it felt like Facebook. Like, a, it felt like a, a smooth Facebook at first. Because it didn't have all the ads hidden inside of it. Um, never. Never had, we'll never have ads. Yeah, see, we'll never have so, so that, that part was, was real smooth. The, the second part, the second thing that it, that it has is it has the effects of a, of a YouTube. So you could, it, it, I felt like I, although I didn't see the connection, but since I know it's tied to Google, I know YouTube's already in there. Um, so, um, hey, by the way, can you do that for us real quick? What would you like me to do? Bring me, give me a YouTube. Give me a YouTube Temptations music. All right, so I can actually I can go to YouTube from the applications. Uh, That's good. That's fine. Uh, I'll, however, it happens. YouTube Premium. Now, and, and that's already funded inside the system. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, this is this is what this is what I'm saying. In fact, I'm gonna make you guys laugh. Here's one for you. Do YouTube A5 Brown use you YouTube A5 Brown? <laughs> see if it pulls up. Make you laugh a little bit. If it's a uh, A5 Brown. A five P H I A P H I B R O W N. Well, you heard the rest of what he said. B R O W N. Some spaces in there. Probably got some spaces. A separate space. Yeah, P H I space Brown. Okay, there you go. Is this it? Yep. That's it. I think it's on the top. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't hear the sound on it though, but you but you can. That that's uh that's in my man cave, and uh, <laughs> that was. <laughs> yeah. we were, I see. Uh, yeah, we were doing a, we were doing a uh, uh, a fiftieth year reunion, and uh, so I, my uh, one somebody had the brilliant idea because because my nickname was A Five Bray, so they said uh, I said no, I said so so I was I was doing uh, James Brown because you would get on up, it just came out. <laughs> so yeah, I, yeah, I see. Two thousand sixteen. I see. September. <laughs> <I see you. laughs> So anyhow, okay, so it's, so it's tracking, and that, and that came out real quick. Uh, there's uh, <laughs> there's about three A5 Browns that we did leading up to it, and then one, and then one after it was all over with. That was 2016. But uh, somebody actually sent it to me the other day uh, because I didn't know they'd hung it. <laughs> so I said, well, let me see if it shows up. Okay, but that did. That was uh, <laughs> that's interesting. Okay. Well, we could actually put that on the on the timeline <laughs> and really put that up. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so right now we have, okay feels like smooth Facebook. I, I see your, your comment. Everybody that's in the in the chat right now, can you please post a um, comment on the timeline posts uh, just to kind of uh, reveal that we had that many um, people at, in this info. Infotainment zones, entertainment zones. Now, I, I will give you I one. Don't do this <laughs> I, I will give you another that you can, that, uh, one that's on a serious note. Yeah, I see. I didn't know. The I'll give you one you, that you could sing on a serious note that uh, Big U from, uh, Big U from the, the leader of the Crips and I actually did a, KY, a K107 uh discussion it lasted it actually lasted a couple of hours and uh 
it's a it's it's a big U and it, it's a two worlds divided. It's 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 um through iHeart, and and they gave me the authority to put it anywhere I want to put it. Um, iHeart Radio. So we should we should put man we should we should put it uh we should put it on silo. Go for it. No, you have to do it, you know, Bray. You can do it. Actually, it's 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 not on. I don't I don't actually have it. It's like hanging out someplace. You no, got you, it. You've seen it. Send me the link and I'll rip it and then make it an MP4 file that you can drag it into your profile. That's it. Either that or or uh, no, we can bring it on the channel. So guys, look, this is this is really uh this That's is really the beginner version of Silo, right? This is. This is really the beginning of Silo. There's a lot of people on Silo already that use this um, in their own circles. Um, and we're, we're gonna be launching this in the next couple of weeks. So it's important for my team to get as fluid on it as possible. Um, and I'm, I'm appreciative of, of you guys helping us in uh, California to get some of the business leaders uh, moving towards this direction. Um, once they once they realize what can be done here, uh, a lot of other things uh, change. Hey, here's one for you. Go go to just to see simple. Go to just go to Google and do Big U and General Gordon Bray. And do Gordon hyphen Bray and that. That'll give you things you can play with because all of it is just is right there. General, I don't have time to play with things, General. Don't worry about but, it. I, I, I was just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there to, Ke well, actually, to Kevin. Kevin There's needs a to lot. play with this, man. You guys need to do this on your own playtime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with it. Oh, no, I, I, I said, I, my point is Kevin can play with it because he's got I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, he's, he's got All right, we're good. So, okay. <laughs> I, I, I. I, I I got it. Right. So, 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 so general. So general. Uh, look, this is literally. I mean, this was really broken up. Uh, my my team was uh, used to me doing this in a fast a fast pace. I wanted to be able to just fly through all the modules, not stumble sure. through anything, just kind of okay. stick through everything. But uh, I appreciated the kind of question and answering. Uh, we can't do this if you guys bring me on to uh, do a, a demonstration. You're gonna have to just have that person uh, sit through it. I know they could be uh, falling off their seat, but I need seven minutes and I run through the entire silo cloud in every presentation, but it always takes me 30 minutes plus with questions. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I, I got How many it. So, times have you seen me do the silo so, presentation? So, so let, let's do this. Let's do this. We'll help you. Let's do this. Um, what time are we scheduled to have uh, Lou, uh, uh, Lou on, Kevin? To be determined. That's why I wanted to get through this first so that okay. we can actually it's, bring it's, you it's, and it's, Lou it's, together. It's so I'm going to reach out to Lou. Hey, hey. Hold, hold, so. hold, hold, hold tight. This is, this, is, this is how we'll do it. Tomorrow, whatever time y'all set up, before we bring on, before we bring on uh, Lou, what we do is uh, we tell Lou that he's going to walk him through the process. You and I don't say shit. And, and Lou is the only person, who can, and he'll probably have just some questions just to get through and set up. That, that, that's what he'll have. Now, hopefully, he'll, he, we will have given him a link and got him so that he starts off at the right page. That way, when you start, it's there. And and if you want us to be at a place in this process, we should be there in advance so that yeah. we're tracking. Well, here's a suggestion. I think he should try to set up his own profile. There you go. There you no, go. That, that's what I said. You, you, we do that yeah. in advance before you come on, just like we all did. You set up your profile before you come on. But see, here's the key. We've, we've, we have got to get him on the right page before he starts. Because if he's, if he's on the wrong page, he'll be just like I was tonight. I was on three, I had three different pages. And so I had to wait for Lyle to show me which one to be on to get right. 
because the system will actually take you, it doesn't take you uh, allow to that first page or it didn't earlier. Yeah, okay. It didn't, it didn't bring it to that first page that once you gave us first, it went to, it took me to another page and we, and, and what we got to do for, for Lau is to ensure before we bring Lau on, so Lau's time is crisp, he's on that page and we, and we freeze everybody there. And then we actually, let's, General, why don't we do this? Why don't we not let him have a profile? Do not tell him to get a profile. Okay. The fact that, uh, let's, sometimes uh, people learn better when they're on the out trying to learn how to be in the end, right? The fact that you and Kevin have a profile and I have a profile, we can actually communicate on it and show Lou that you're already on. We can chat, we can send files back and forth. We're already following each other and he'll see that and then we'll, we'll direct him to do that afterwards. So he can have experience on his own. So here's a question. You, since he already knows Zoom, do you want him to come in on Zoom first? Yeah, I think we should bring, we can bring him in on Zoom first. Yep. Because I think if we, if we sent him a QR code or a SMS or an email to Silo, we're going to, we're going to shock him and the questions start right there and then we never do the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and that's the fact. I know. Yes, okay. Okay. All right, cool. But but, let, but but here. But here's. But here's the conversation to us, to you, yeah. me, and 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 uh, and Kevin. Kevin, if we gotta talk, we talk in chat. Yeah. And and let him go straight to Lou, so that he and Lou can talk, and that way we don't convolute the issue. General Bray, I'm following you, man. I'm cop copy everything you're saying. So. Okay. You know, how, you know how to, you know how to direct the energy flow. <clears throat> okay. All right. Cool. I'm 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 good with that. Um, so I, I'll text Lou to find out what times he has available. Are there any are there any blackout times for you tomorrow, uh, Lyle? Uh, I think the later the better because I've been. Uh, I don't think you guys know this, man, but uh, I was just waking up before that call. <laughs> I'm up oh, now. You, you, you told us. You, you told okay. us. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be you up all night again. So, uh, so the, the later the better. Um, it's six o'clock. Shoot, shoot, 18, shoot by 1800. Hey, that would be great. I mean, okay. six, yeah, that, I mean, 1800 would be good. 1800 hours would be fantastic. I was reading one. I was reading one of your one of your one of your, your teammates' minds. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Nah, I'm just waking up right now. Okay. Same way, Kevin. I, I got to break contact. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll uh, okay, give I'll, us a zoom. Give us a zoom link up. Eighteen hundred. I'll look for it. You got it. Yeah. Central, Central well, thank you very much, Lyle, General Bray. I'm out also. So uh, I'll send information to Lakita as to what time we're going to try and make this happen tomorrow. And Lou will be Sounds going good. through General Bray's, uh, to, to, General Bray will do the tutorial and demonstrate how he's able to apply what he's learned thus far about how we can use this as a tool. No, yeah, I'm not going to do that because that, that, that is not for me. This is not no, my No, but team. I mean, again, it's a way for him, way for him to just, just get some idea that this is not too difficult for anybody to be able to figure out how to use it for one, for one bullet. One bullet. And I think we got an idea of what we want to do. Okay, gentlemen, thanks for uh, the time and energy. Over and out. Thank you, man. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thanks a lot.